All right, a big thanks to PCB Way for supporting the channel. Um, so I have uh, my boards back and a um, solder mask or solder uh, solder screen. Sorry. So uh, we can uh, do the uh, surface mount with the stencil here, the solder stencil. Oop, there we go. And uh, the boards look great. So uh, the uh, holes on my uh, connectors here on the side aren't big enough to just put it onto the uh, put it on directly. I thought I, I thought I measured them and I thought it made it big enough that maybe something got uh, missed up somewhere along the way so they don't they don't quite slip onto the uh, onto the attenuator so I'll just have to put in some wires and uh, mount it at 90 degrees but that'll be fine that'll be fine um, I do have one error on the PC board that I noticed when I sent it out um, I was playing with the uh, uh, seven segment LEDs that I'm going to be using and the data sheet that I downloaded for those parts that I made the uh, that I made the uh, footprint for showed it as a common anode device but I guess the same part number depending on if it's an A version or a B version is either common cathode or common anode I happen to have common cathode now luckily the voltage for those LEDs come on one one uh, trace and I can just cut that trace and jumper it to ground and it'll work just fine. So that will not slow me down. There's M side dog. <laughs> um, yeah, so I say we get them we get them loaded. Uh, now we'll have to uh, make a little bit of a Kind of a jigsaw here so we can take our stencil and put it on top and uh, everything will be plainer so i'll get some tape and do that and then we will squeegee on some solder and get going all right i have it all taped down and everything we'll put a put some blobs of solder on here and see how uh see how we do all right Let's, uh, let's put some solder here, solder here, and uh, start, start squeegeeing. All right, I think that looks pretty good. A little bit wasteful on the solder side of things, but what are you gonna do? The solder, this, this, this vial of solder usually goes bad before the expiration date anyway, so. Um, or, anyway, it lasts me, it lasts me uh, uh, certainly up to the expiration date. So it's usually a, a pretty good investment in money, even though you're gonna throw some away. I think that looks pretty even now. Maybe, maybe a little bit right there. Make sure all the holes are filled. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Um, I did buy this official squeegee thing. You can get these at PCB Ways. Um, uh, they have the actual store you can buy things. And I think that's where I got this. Um, it's an official solder scraper squeegee whatever you want to call this thing uh, seems to work pretty good so i say 
Let's go ahead and uh, peel up the uh, stencil and see see if things are looking if things are looking reasonable. up and yeah that's looking that's looking very nice and we can lift this uh, lift this out of the center and uh, I'll put it in the microscope and we'll start loading the parts but uh, yeah now we have all nice bunch of solder Make sure I don't put my fat fingers into that. So yeah, let me get my microscope out and then we'll start loading parts. All right, well that came out very, very nice. Um, I used a little box here and I, I put all the, all the different components uh, so I knew I could just grab them. I wouldn't have to go find them. I had them all laid out ahead of time. And um, yeah, but put these in my R reflow oven uh, under the microscope, you can see here uh, the quality of the soldering looks pretty, pretty good. Um, it does help to do, use the stencil and gives the exact amount of solder that uh, really is required. Q15 looks a little, a little off center. I think it's still I think it's still attached, uh, but it did get a little bit off center, but everybody else, uh, everybody else seemed to cooperate. So now we have a couple extra um, through hole parts. Uh, I still have uh, the switches to put in. Let's pull those out. Got the switches, and then I got the, uh, the actual LEDs themselves. So let's put those in just for fun here. Uh, whenever you have a part that has a whole bunch of different legs, sometimes it need, they need a bit of coaching to go into the holes. It's kind of like picking a lock, <laughs> a lot like picking a lock. Um, there we go, just to have it, just to have it there. Yeah, it's going to be nice, huh? It's going to be nice. Well, let's put the switches on. Oh, you can come. You can come and go in. There we go. Yeah, so I'll put a socket here for the little microprocessor. And uh, then we'll be done with it. But doesn't that look nice? I do enjoy this project.